Hidden labs with cold steel doors, discreet with whispers, concrete floors. In their hands, the tiny plots, shaping futures, tying knots, ambitions wild. They push too far, unleashed the code from a vile jar. A small town sleeps, unaware it wakes to a thirst that bites, a virus takes. Dr. Amelia Clerk sat at her glass top desk, staring intently at the monitor in front of her. Her hands moved hurriedly over the keyboard, creating a sequence of commands. Information about the latest software update for the nanobots flashed off the screen. Amelia breathed a sigh of relief, feeling her accumulated fatigue begin to leave her. Dr. Clerk, we need your opinion on this latest series of tests, came a voice behind Amelia's back. She turned around and saw her colleague, Peter Smith, standing in the doorway of the lab with a folder in his hands, of course, Peter. What's wrong? she asked, getting up from her desk and inviting him in. Smith held out the folder to her, his face reflecting alarm. We've detected something strange in the latest results. Some nanobots are starting to exhibit unpredictable behavior after activation. Amelia took the folder and began to study the reports. Her eyebrows furrowed at the sight of the unusual data. This is, strange, she pronounced, tilting her head toward one test. It appears that the nanobots are beginning to interact with the host body in unexpected ways, and what does that mean for us, asked Smith, clenching his fingers on the folder's handle. It means we need to investigate this phenomenon more thoroughly, Amelia replied, closing the folder. For now, I'm going to suggest that we suspend any further tests. We can't risk the further spread of unpredictable effects. They both knew this was more than just a scientific error. But what could they do to stop the storm that was already beginning to gather strength? From the moment the lab learned of the calculation error, the city's residents began to sense something ominous, like a shadow stalking its streets and alleys. At first it was isolated cases of unexplained animal attacks and human disappearances, but soon it became a veritable epidemic. Conservative news headlines began to turn into cries of alarm. Newspapers ran stories about strange occurrences in which people began leaving their homes at night and then disappearing without a trace, then returning, changed, possessing strange, almost far-fetched features. Stories of attacks in which victims were found with empty eyes and pale faces became the standard for conversation at dinner tables and bars. Local authorities were in a state of panic, not knowing how to deal with this unexplained chaos. Police were overworked trying to keep an eye on outbreaks of violence and disappearances. But what was most frightening was that no one could explain the reasons behind it all. Amelia and Peter continued their research, delving deeper into the dark mysteries they themselves had created. It was discovered that the nanobots they had developed were infected with some sort of virus that reprogrammed their purpose. Instead of curing, they began turning their hosts into something completely different. How could this happen? asked Peter, lowering his head in despair. I mean, we carefully controlled every step of the research. I'm not sure, Amelia replied, brushing the tiredness from her face with her hand. But something went wrong. Maybe it was because we used two different samples of the virus for our tests, so now what? asked Peter, raising his eyes to his colleague. Now we need to find a way to stop it, Amelia said, rising from the table. We need to alert the local authorities and try to develop an antidote. We can't let this spread any further. They knew it was a long fight. But they couldn't let this epidemic destroy the city. While scientists tried to fight the threat in the labs, on the streets of the city, the authorities had lost control altogether. Groups of people swept up in the virus formed a community that worshipped the dark forces of blood. They became nocturnal hunters, feeding on living blood, their voices filling the streets with cold fear. The inhabitants of the city, forced to hide in their homes, felt their time was at hand. For Amelia and Peter, 
this was a challenge they could in no way have foreseen. They continued to work on the antidote, but every minute was precious as chaos spread around them. In fact, the power and bloodlust they tried to resist was far more powerful than they could have imagined. Eventually, despite their best efforts, the epidemic continued to spread, covering more and more areas and infecting more people. The town remained but a shadow of its former self. What had once been home to many was now only a source of terror and fear. For Amelia and Peter, it was a startling finale to their research that they could never have foreseen, but perhaps there is a sliver of hope in the darkness. Maybe one day someone might find the answers that Amelia and Peter had been searching for so long. <laughs>